Hi everybody and welcome to part 2 of my inventory. In this video you're going to find my numbers on skincare, body care, fragrance, and hair care. If you missed part 1 of this inventory, make sure you check the description box below. I'll link it down there. I'm just going to go ahead and throw the disclaimer. This is not to show off. This is for inventory purposes only because I'm doing this all over again towards the end of the year to check how much I have decreased my stash. So that's that's all there is to this, you know, I'm not trying to show off or anything like that. If you have any questions about any specific products, please let me know in the comments below. In my numbers, I'm only including deluxe size samples and full size items, all the packets and all those individual samples. I'm saving them for a project that I want to do in September, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. As always, thank you for your time and let's begin. So I'm just going to go ahead and begin with my skincare and hair care inventory. I'm going to go ahead and kick it off with the SPF category and I just put all the ones that I own right now and I have a total of six. I believe these are for all for the face and these ones are for the body and I hope to at least cut this category in half. I just want to hold myself accountable that I am going to be good about wearing SPF this year. I have a total of five facial mist. The ones on this side are brand new and those two are the ones that I'm currently working on. They're both deluxe sizes. I hope to maybe move out four out of the five by the end of the year. So next up I have the category of skin exfoliators and I have a total of six right now. My goal is to finish all the sample sizes which are these three. This one from Hula Henriksen will be gone soon. It's almost done, you can tell. Right there, that's all I have left that little bit. Next up I have my toners and my micellar waters. I have three toners and two micellar waters. My goal here is to use up both of the micellar waters and maybe two out of the toners. Okay, so next up I have a combination of products that are for acne relief, or that's how I categorize this, just to put them all together. I have a total of eight. And these two items right here are just emergency blemish reliefs products, one from Skin Island and one from Proactive. I also have two of the Clinique Acne Solutions. That This one's a full size and that's just a sample size that I got for free. I don't like that product. Next I have some items that are good for uh, scarring and these are just two random items. This is a soothing gel from Skin Food. This stuff is so amazing. I recommend everybody should put it in the, this in their face. This is amazing. And I just wanted to toss in this extra item. I didn't know where else to put it. I have a box of the charcoal pore strips as well. Here's my stash of eye creams. I have a total of eight. And these ones right here, they are full size eye creams. I have one from Algenes from e.l.f. and one from Derma Doctor. They're full size, brand new. I have four uh, sample size. And I have this one which is from Mario Badescu, which is the one that I currently have on rotation. I do not like this at all. I don't recommend it to anybody. I'm, I'm about halfway done with this one and I'm going to be so happy once it's gone. Okay, so this is where it starts getting crazy. I have a total of 18 serums and they're all from different brands. I'm just going to quickly show them. All of this right here, they're deluxe size samples. That one from Bare Minerals. These ones are Estee Lauder and Lancome. And these are the full size, four full size serums that I have. And this one right here is my favorite. Once I finish with everything else, I think I'm just going to stick to this one. This is the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. This insane category includes all my moisturizers. I have the night creams, day creams, and also some neck creams. You might ask why I have so much e.l.f. skincare, but last year I won, I believe, three giveaways from e.l.f., so I've been accumulating them for a while. All of this over here is full-size items, including the Caress Wild Rose Cream. And then I have some deluxe size samples over here. These ones right here are neck creams. Oops, there goes that one. Then I have some moisturizers up here, deluxe samples. Another more deluxe samples from different brands. Beer Minerals, Estee Lauder, Philosophy, First Day Beauty. And down here, these two are the ones that I currently have on rotation. This is the Estee Lauder Enlighten, and I use this in the morning. And this one right here is from Avon, it's the Ano a new Ultimate Night and I use this at night of course. Here are all my moisturizers and that's a total of 26. I hope that this year I'm able to narrow it down to less than 20 items in this category. Next up I have my cleansers and I have a total of 27. 
The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea one is the one that I currently have on rotation. Everything else has been in storage. Here I have some full-size Estee Lauder, Proactive, Mario Badescu, Elf. A lot of deluxe sizes from different brands. I have a lot, multiples of the Purity Cleanser from Philosophy. Uh, my goal in this category is to use up all the ones that I have doubles of, such as the Purity ones and the one from First Day Beauty, and hopefully narrow it down to less than 20 as well. We'll see how that goes. Up next, I have my mask collection, and I have a total of 33 items. I have an assortment of just regular mask, and this is the one that I have currently in rotation. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Purifying Black Mask. I also have some skin food that I want to try as soon as I'm done with this one. I've heard really good things about this brand. And I also have some eye mask, eye patches, I just put them here. I also have some masks from Dr. Brand, that these are the needles no more and they're both deluxe eye samples. Here are some anti-aging hydro cool firming face gels for the forehead from Skin Iceland. I also have a deluxe sample of the Dr. Brand Magnetite mask, but I don't have the actual magnet. It didn't come with the sample, which was a bummer. But I think what I'm gonna do is purchase the one from e.l.f. and maybe that magnet can work for this one as well. We'll see. And then over here I have a sampler of masks from Peter Thomas Roth. Some other deluxe samples from Bliss, Clinique, Mario Videscu, Hey Honey. I got a lot of this from Ipsy Bags. And then I have some of those single-use peel-off masks kind of deal here. Some scrubs and stuff. Uh, this one's over here. They're sample packets from L'Oreal. I'm counting each set of three as one. And I have two of them. Here's more from Freeman, some Derma Doctor, and some from Origins. I should really narrow this down to less than 10 for sure. My skin needs a lot of mask right now. So there's absolutely no excuse to me not using any of these items up. Okay, the next item in my collection are the sheet masks. And I think that with this one and the mask that I showed you previously, I, it's safe to say I have enough masks for the whole year. I have a total of 41 sheet masks. 41. And I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some brands that I have. I have the So A Eve. This, one, this ones are from Walmart. And I want to give away from them. And then after that, just get purchasing them because they're good and they're very affordable. I have a few Tony Moly, uh, some Karina exfoliating mask. Some Perlis over here that I got at my Ipsy bag when I used to have Ipsy. Some random ones from Face Story. I also have some from Leaders from BioVail. And this is one of my favorites, this one. And it's from the Soe E brand that's at, uh, I, I hope that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But anyways, this is the brand that's available at Walmart. And this one will clear your breakouts almost instantly. I love this mask uh, more liters over here and then this is another one that I love for breakouts this is the tea tree relaxing from liters very effective so yeah these are my sheet masks and I hope to get through most of them if not all of them before the end of the year that way I can get in some new ones okay next up I have my body scrub and body oil category I have one full size this one is from soap and glory and I have these three deluxe size samples this is a body oil and these two are body scrubs, one from the Ulta brand and this one is from Tree Hut. I hope to move all of them out of my collection before the end of the year or maybe at least this three and be halfway done with this one, but we'll see. The next category is body wash and I have a total of nine and the goal here is to finish everything because I only want to start purchasing this one from Shea Moisture. I love this one. It's the African Black Soap Body Wash. And this one, the scent lingers all day and it leaves your skin feeling extra soft. So I'm just gonna, you know, pull off the no buy for as long as I can by using up everything else. And then eventually I'm just gonna move on to this one exclusively. This right here is my personal stash of shampoo. This is not the family stash. These are all shampoos that I'm exclusively gonna use up. And with the shampoo and conditioner, I have a total of 16 items in this category. Um, I do have two dry shampoo containers. 
I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those. I've never used dry shampoo in my life before. So I don't know if they're gonna end up being the stash by the end of the year. Everything in here needs to go. I do not like any, well, you know, I haven't tried, I've never tried this brands, but I personally don't wanna own any of these brands. I like Shea Moisture for my shower needs, my, my body wash, and for my shampoo and conditioner. I just prefer products without all the chemicals. For this two conditioner, for the, actually three, for these three conditioners who, that don't have like a matching shampoo, I'm gonna have to go to the store and actually purchase the matching shampoo so that I can use them up because I like to match my shampoos to their conditioners all the time. All right, almost done. Next up, we have my hair products category and I have 25 items. And this category includes some detanglers, some um, hair mask, argan oil for the hair, some treatments, some heat protectants, which I don't know when I'm ever gonna use because I rarely use heat, some leaving treatments, and this right here, this is a uh, texturizing spray I think it's, I'll give this a try there it is so yeah this is 25 items I would like to oh maybe get half of it out of my collection I think that's a bit ambitious since I rarely apply any product to my hair okay so the amount of lotion that I own is so ridiculous that I have to split it into two parts so these are the full-size lotions that I own right now I have a few from Olay Soella some Bath and Body Works. I also, yeah, over here, some more Bath and Body Works, some Victoria's Secret. And I'm putting into my lotions category the Heal Genius Food Cream. This is my favorite food cream ever, period. I don't need to try it more because this one's perfect and it's affordable as well. And sometimes Ulta has it on clearance as well. These are the two body butters that I only have full size one is from soap and glory and the other one is from the body shop and I have this one that is very destroyed but it's the one that I'm currently working on I'm almost done with it so for full size lotions I have a total of 23 now let's take a look at all the deluxe size samples that I have and here are the deluxe sample travel size just the smaller size lotions that I have I have a total of 24 of these little ones and again I have some more of the foot cream right here the heel genius and I'm also adding in all my hand lotions which are this two and this one I have a lot of different brands here including sample sizes from Sol de Janeiro and the one from Bath and Body Works here a small one and over here I have the only small travel size body butter that I have and this five over here you know have you ever watched the episode from Friends where Ross is staying at a hotel and he literally dismantles the whole room because he pays basically for everything that's in there, the lotions, the toilet paper, and etc.? Well, that's me. <laughs> that's what I was doing. I was bringing back home everything that I would get at the hotels because, you know, well, I pay for it. I have now stopped doing that because, I mean, you're seeing my collection, but... Anyway, those made it home with me, so now they're part of the inventory. When I add these ones and the full-size ones, I have a total of 47 lotions. Oh my goodness. Okay, for body sprays, body mist, I have a total of 11. Most of them are for Bath & Body Works. I do have a couple of Victoria's Secret and this too. One is from Soap & Glory and the other one is... Uh, Rouge Love by Rihanna. To be honest, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this category because I'm really bad at using body sprays. If I'm gonna spray something on me, I'd rather grab a perfume just because it lasts longer. But we'll see. Hopefully, by the end of the year, I have less than 11. But yeah, these are my body sprays. Now we're gonna move on to perfume. Next up, I have my fragrances and I have a total of 31. I have some brand new op unopened ones from Taylor Swift and Outspoken Fresh by Fergie. I have a deluxe sample of the Flower Bomb, some ro roller balls, these ones are from Michael Kors, Estee Lauder, Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker and this one is a Jessica Simpson fragrance. This is a set of Tokyo Milk fragrances, it's four different ones. Up here I have a deluxe of the Paris Hilton. I believe this is uh, Coach Poppy. And this one I think it's the Britney Spears fragrance. I, I think this is Fantasy. This one's Fantasy, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, I think it's Fantasy. 
This is Elizabeth Arden Red Door. My husband gave me that like five years ago. <laughs> this is like a knockoff version of the Michael Kors Jasmine. I have over here a full size of the Jessica Simpson fragrance. I don't even know which one this is. I'll insert it somewhere over here if I figure it out. And these little ones are the cutest little perfumes you've ever seen. They're all deluxe type samples of high-end fragrances. I have a Clinique, a Clinique, I'm sorry. The Dolce & Gabbana one. I think that's Estee Lauder, Pleasures. These are from Marc Jacobs. The Daisy ones. Some more little ones. This one right here. Oops. This one is Versace. Um, this one's either Lancome or Estee Lauder. And some more little ones by Marc Jacobs. They're so cute. And I also have the cute version. The cute tiny version of the flower bomb. So I have two of those. That's a total of 31. That's a lot. And, you know, I'm just counting the deluxe and the full size ones. My sample perfumes, which are over here, sneak peek, they're going to be for another project later on in the year. So I'm only going to be focusing on these fragrances for now. And we've made it to the end. This is the last category. I just wanted to throw this in as a bonus because I do have multiples of this. This is my nail polish remover cord. And I have nine of them. I will hold myself from purchasing more, obviously, till I'm completely finished with this one. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much if you made it through part one and part two. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. This was a hard day of work, but very worth it. I will do another makeup inventory at the end of the year to check the numbers again. Hopefully, I've made improvement in all the categories. And, you know, just a quick reminder, I'm going to know by this whole year. I think after seeing all my numbers, it's very obvious why. I'm going to stop rambling now. It took me all day to do this, so I'm going to start getting ready for bed. But um, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.